The animal kingdom is a wild, wacky place where animals have to be clever in order to survive. Camouflage is a natural phenomenon used by plants and animals to blend into their environment. Animals camouflage for various reasons. Some do it to protect themselves from predators. Some choose it in their favor while hunting. No matter what, camouflaging acts as an added advantage to the species, which get it by birth. In this video, we're going to discuss the top 10 camouflaged animals. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Bitterns Both American bitterns and least bitterns are wading birds, and their markings make it difficult to see them among the tall grasses and reeds along the water's edge where they like to hang out. These bitterns eat aquatic animals, and while hunting, they stand still at the edge of the water, among the vegetation, and wait, then jab their bills into their catch, according to Cornell Lab. The long streaks on their breasts spread upward to their necks, making them difficult to discern from the marshy vegetation where they stalk their prey. While the coloring certainly helps them blend in, they're also difficult to notice along the water's edge because of their ability to stand still for so long. Number 9. Rattlesnakes Rattlesnakes are venomous snakes and their venom can destroy blood cells and vessels. This is used for both huntings and for defense against predators. It is also fatal for humans if not treated immediately. It prefers to thrive in the regions of arid and desert rocky areas. However, it is also seen in the forests, prairies, and swampy habitats. The size of rattlesnakes depends on the species. However, the largest known species can reach up to 8 feet. The average length is 3 to 4 feet long. It is a carnivore and hunts rats, mice, and small birds. It is one of the camouflaged animals that can very well hide because of the typical coloration on scaly skin. There is a warning device present in rattlesnakes after which it is actually named. Rattlesnakes can also survive near the water in arid habitats. Number 8. Chameleon When you think of camouflage, more often than not, you think of the chameleon. But actually, when chameleons change the colors of their scales, the primary function isn't to camouflage themselves against their surroundings, though this is a handy side effect. In fact, chameleons change color to regulate their body temperature and to send messages and signals to their fellow chameleons. That being said, they're still a fantastic example of camouflage. Their scales can completely change color to match their surroundings, usually the rainforest or a desert, which makes it impossible for predators to find them. Did you know that some cells in a chameleon's skin have crystals called guanine crystals? To change the color of their skin, chameleons adjust the space between these crystals, which affects how light reflects off their skin. Number 7. Hyena A hyena's medium-sized body and its color help it to easily blend in a bush or a dry grassland. A pack of hyena always waits for the right moment and attack collectively. It's another natural adaptation besides their camouflage of the body hairs. The technique of camouflaging is more or less similar to that of lions. They have only one disadvantage, which is their small size body in comparison to other wildcats. That's why they hunt in a herd and show excessive aggression during hunting. This animal has a unique feature. It's their smile. How mysterious and haunting the smile is. It would surpass the sound effects of horror movies. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Number 6. Nightjar European nightjars are birds that are found in Asia, Africa, and Europe. They mostly live in sparsely vegetated areas, grasslands, and wetlands. They have flat, wide heads, and their body colors include gray, brown, and red, which helps them blend with the surroundings like the bark of a tree and thus provide excellent camouflage. They're nocturnal, that is, they're only active during the night. Being carnivores, their diet includes moths, flies, and beetles. Snakes, owls, and red foxes are predators of the bird. They are summer migrants and arrive in late May and leave by mid-August. Habitat loss and pesticide usage are significant threats to these species. However, they are not endangered and their population is still substantial. Number 5. Brown Creeper Many songbirds seem designed to stand out. Take the Scarlet Tanager and Northern Cardinal both of which are hard to miss with their bright red plumage. Or blue jays, which are also easy to spot. 
but not the brown creeper, which blends in almost perfectly with tree bark. These small, sparrow-sized birds have mottled brown backs and heads. This allows them to remain unseen while doing what they spend most of their time doing, traveling up and down tree trunks looking for insects to eat. Their camouflage is so good that it's often easier to identify a brown creeper by its song than by searching tree trunks to find one. Only the male birds sing, and it's a high, sweet-sounding song. They're sometimes said to sound like they're calling out trees, trees, beautiful trees. Number 4. Caddydids Caddydids are masters of cryptic coloration and mimicry. In other words, they're masters of camouflage. Insects that can blend in with their environments are favored by natural selection. They're less likely to be eaten and more likely to reproduce and pass on their genes and their disguises to future generations. Camouflage is most effective when the shape and outline of an animal completely merge with their background so they are no longer recognizable. For this to work, the animal must stay in a single position for hours at a time. Caddydids are very inactive during the day, and as a result, relatively little is known about them despite their abundance and variety. Caddydids are mainly found in the tropics, but some reside in North America. Most live in treetops or among the leaf litter on forest floors. They are thought to enhance their disguises by deliberately assuming positions that conform to adjacent vegetation. Number 3. Seahorses Pygmy seahorses existed until marine biologist George Bargabant came across one by accident. He was studying sea fans. The Gorgonian corals found throughout the world's oceans when out popped a tiny seahorse that resembled a swimming chunk of coral. The species was duly named after him. The animals spent their whole lives in one outgrowth for sea fan and, as you might expect, are supremely well camouflaged. So much so that after the species was discovered in the 1960s, there was a long lull. No other species were found until 2000, and now a handful have been found by scuba divers in the tropical Indo-Pacific region, says Mustard. Their prey is copepods. These crustaceans are extremely hard to catch since they can jettison themselves out of danger at a speed of 500 body lengths per second. Number 2. Gray Tree Frogs Gray tree frogs can change color based on their environment and activities, helping them blend in nicely no matter where they happen to be. Gray tree frogs are small frogs that typically live in the woodlands near waterways, and there's a good chance that you've never seen one, but not because of their small size. In low light or when temperatures drop, the pigment cells expand, making their skin appear darker. When there's more light or temperature increase, the shrinking cells make them appear a brighter color. The gray tree frog may excel at camouflage because of its color-changing ability, but many frogs and toads are able to blend into their surroundings because of their coloring. Most frogs and toads are green or greenish-brown, which helps them blend in with their normal habitat and escape detection by predators. Number 1. Stick Insects Stick insects can be seen across the globe except for Antarctica, and they're most abundant in the tropics and subtropics. Stick insects have natural camouflage that makes them difficult to identify for predators, and there are many species that have secondary lines of defense in the form of startle displays, spines, or toxic secretions. These insects belong to the order Phasmatodia and can be camouflaged on either sticks or leaves. It can reach up to a centimeter and a half or 0.6 inches to over 63 centimeters or 25 inches in length and the longest stick insect measured was up to 64 centimeters or 25 inches in total length. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video. For more information, subscribe and watch other videos from our channel.